Okay, this is the daily task tab. As you can see from the layout, it includes a task list on the left, your calendar for the day, and on the right hand side, a place for all your notes. Let's start out with the task list. Now tasks are the jobs or activities you need to do, um, either identified by yourself or that others have assigned to you. Here in this section of Opus 1, uh, the tasks that appear on the list are the tasks that have today's date assigned to them or a date previous um, and, that, and that task hasn't been completed yet so showing up in red is overdue. Tasks without a date assigned to them appear in the Master Tasks tab. Alright, well let's get into it. Let's go ahead and open up the Daily Task tab. Now, I'm just going to use this session to really unpack some of the perhaps hidden gems in the daily task tab and um, explain why it works so well um, and how it's a, such a powerful tool at helping you lead a much more prioritized, organized and productive day. So let's go ahead and click on the um, plus button and we'll add a new task. You'll notice that the new task uh, window pops up. I'm using an iPad version but it's very similar on a Mac and a little bit different on the phone but yeah we'll, we'll just go with the iPad version for now. Now you'll notice that we'll put the name of the task in there at the top. I'm now then going to use the select the priority button and you'll see it drop down to two different options here. Um, firstly there's levels or letters um, A, B and C priorities and then they can be sequenced one through to however many you have. I want to take this opportunity to quickly talk about the prioritisation process. We're certainly leading an increasingly busy and demanding lifestyle these days and the list of tasks that we seem to uh, be getting increases out of proportion to the amount of available time that we have to do them. The best way to, to take control of this issue is to prioritise them. Now Opus 1 allows you to be initially prioritise according to what's called the Eisenhower matrix, um, looking at urgencies and importance. Now we won't go into that here right now, we can save that for another training session. On a more day-to-day -day basis though, tasks that end up on the, on the list to do today can also be prioritised. And once you've determined that these are the things to try to fit into the time available that you have to do them, your calendar today, then you can go ahead and assign one of three levels to them as I said before. So there's three levels, there's A-level tasks, B-level tasks, and C-level tasks. I'm just going to quickly touch on each one. So A-level tasks, these are the most important and urgent for the day. They're the ones that without a question, they need to be completed at some point throughout the day before you go to bed. Be cautious though about assigning A-level tasks to just anything. This will cause you a great amount of pressure and stress trying to get through um, overly prioritizing too many A-level tasks and that they may not need to be there. These tasks that you assign an A-level task to, they must be done today. Now B-level tasks, B-level tasks are still important but maybe not necessarily as urgent as the A-level tasks. Once you've assigned time to complete all of the A-level tasks, any other available time that you've got uh, to be, can be allocated to the completion of B-level tasks. These tasks fit in the category of should be done today if possible. Now, C-level tasks. C-level tasks are the ones that if all the A's get done and all the B's are complete and you still have any discretionary time left, you'll get onto these tasks. They're not urgent and they're not necessarily important um, on the grand scheme of things. Just like A-level tasks, be cautious about assigning C's to too many tasks. You may need to consider uh, if putting them on today's to-do list is actually relevant for today. Ask yourself if there's, a, if there's a more suitable date for them to be completed. Sometimes C-level tasks can uh, also be a bit of a focus distractor. You know, going for the less urgent job um, as a means of putting off the important and the urgent priorities. Anyway, once you've assigned the most appropriate level for each of your tasks for the day, then you go to take it to the next stage and order um, each level according to your priorities and your schedule. So for example some A-level tasks that you know they may uh, not require a lot of time and they can be completed quickly. 
you may assign a number 1 to this A-level task, so A1, whereas there may be another A-level task you know is going to require a lot more time and a greater amount of your focus, so uh, you prioritise that you'll get uh, the uh, A1 done, A2 done and A3 out of the road first before you go and attempt to tackle task A4. Now the prioritisation process allows you to consider the urgency and the importance of tasks in alignment with what you're trying to achieve the most for the day. The next thing we're going to click on is the category and this is really all about balance and I'll talk a little bit about um, why it's important to categorize your tasks here. We often hear about that thing called work-life balance and too often when people think about this concept they think in terms of balance they think uh, of equal. Now I don't believe a balance in this context um, means equal in terms of time. Equal in terms of priorities however is a better way to view it. Uh, giving due consideration to those things and people in your life that are most important uh, in the context of your week. By categorizing your elements in Opus 1, both tasks and appointments, you can get a good view of where your focus is throughout the day. We'll give this task a category called Fifth Habit. Now, we can duck down and type some notes down here at the bottom and these can be notes about the task that you need to remember or refer to in regard to what the task is all about. Now, down the bottom here, when you click on that little plus sign, there is a bunch of extra, what I call value added options that you can add into your notes here. Now that can be in the forms of um, a picture that goes with the task, it can be a, a checklist, it can be some annotations, it might be a, a map as to where the task is located. You can even add a voice recording to your task if you wish at this point. Right, at this stage, just click the cross button to save the task and we'll go ahead and add another task here of lesser priority and we'll just let this one be the default priority of B1 and we'll give a, another third task again and leave this priority B, uh, B2. Now I just want to use this as an example to show how throughout the day there may be occasions that arise where you need to prioritize your task list and change a B1 to a B2 to a B1 sorry you can just click and drag and drop and there it goes even if you want to assign something to uh, perhaps a B level task has increased in urgency and needs to be assigned to an A level once again you can just drag it above the A level task and it, it automatically reprioritizes your list for you okay now I want to take a look at the calendar um, aspect of the daily task tab and this is your schedule for the day. Now a calendar represents the days or more specifically the time slots in those days that you have available to complete the things or events including the tasks that you have to do. Now the main problem that people have with time management around this is that they may have a list of tasks to do. They may even run a calendar of sorts identifying you know, what these appointments and events are that they've scheduled in the time slots available, but the two things never get aligned together, tasks and calendar. Now Opus One brings the two things together in such a very clear and intuitive way that uh, makes it very easy to assign time to get things done in the available sl time slots to do them. Prioritising what's of most importance allows users to really focus on the most highly productive things in their day, allowing them the flexibility to reorder and reschedule should the, needs, should the need arise. So we'll go ahead and we'll schedule in a couple of appointments just so that you can see. Um, it's not really a how-to session but we'll put a couple of appointments in there just so that we've got something in the day. Um, we'll put a second appointment in here now, we might actually assign a different category to these appointments, like I talked about before, just to show the balance of what, um, what things you're focusing on for the day, whether they're a balance between maybe a business or a job, personal, it might be um, certain elements of your business that you want to track on um, how, you're, how, how much time you're spending on each particular, um, in each particular category. Now that those events are in place, we can see clearly what available time we have left in order to do the tasks that are on the left hand side. 
we can go ahead here and drag and drop a task into one of the available slots. We can then obviously give it a give that it now becomes an appointment um, or it's scheduled as an event. We can then go ahead and give that a category. We can go ahead and change the amount of time that we know or think that it may take us. Now once we've got the time right, we can go ahead and do the same for all the tasks or as many of the tasks that we like on the left hand side to assign uh, available time to do them. Right over on the right hand side of the daily task tabs is the daily notes section. Now the daily notes is a place for your, as it says, your daily notes, your journal thoughts or anything that comes up during the day where you might not have put notes to a task, you might not have put notes to an appointment but these are just extra notes that you want to take down during the day. Now once again in this page you can access the extra features down the bottom um, similar to the notes um, attached to a task. So and it can be um, uh, checklists, pictures, hand drawn annotations, map references and as I said even uh, recorded audio notes. As with everything in Opus, every piece of text is fully searchable so you no longer have to try to comb through weeks and months worth of notes just to find what you're looking for. Alright, well that uh, hopefully gives you a bit more insight into the daily task tab and some of the theory I suppose behind why it's such a powerful, a powerful tool. Um, this is the go-to tab that you get to every single day. Um, it helps to keep you on track, prioritised and balanced so that you're making sure that you're aligning your daily activities with the things that you've identified as your highest priorities. So good luck and happy planning.